Good day, good day, comrade subscribers. Hope you're all well. Um, I have to do this quickly. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen. I'm going to do it before my wife gets home. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to get one of these for a while. So uh, you know, you can't probably really see it, but this is an Osborne, an Osborne one. Let me just try and open up the front. Some surprisingly good condition. So it's a 1981 uh, computer. Um, the first luggable, the first portable, something, something like that. It runs on AC power. Um, it doesn't have any battery power, but it does actually have a, a socket for a battery. So um, it should run, but it's not loading from disk at the moment. So it's come with, uh, got some software here. So it runs CPM 2.2, uh, Z80, 64K, dual drives, which were originally single density, but um, these disks say double density on them. So I'm hopefully, hopefully they've been upgraded to double density drives. Uh, what else can I show? Of course, the disks, I think they probably go in like that. Yeah, they go in like that, right there. So yeah, I've only just, it's only just arrived, so we can have a quick look at it. Um, so it's from the US, so it runs on um, 120 volts or 110 volts, so I'm going to have to use the converter. So let me plug her in and we'll uh, see what happens. Quick look at the back, so it's got the handle and we've got the power supply in there. Um, just power supply there we go uh, but that's about it so there's no ports on the back because the ports are actually on the front there is this I think that's simply a vent <laughs> that's it I think nothing else on the sides so we've just got yeah we've got our floppy drives we'll have a quick look before we power on a little bit of time before the wife gets home uh, external video, we've got a reset button, which is good. We've got a battery connector, which is a DE9. Um, brightness, okay, brightness and contrast for the massive display there. Hello. And we've got here, we've got a serial. And I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a modem. Is it a built in modem, maybe? There was one thing that was floating around loose. What's that there? Oh, modem. Oh, okay, cool. It's got a modem. Awesome. And what's that there? Parallel, is it? Oh, IEEE. So that's uh, GPIB, is it? Oh, that's cool. Okay. And you've got the keyboard connector there. The keyboard feels quite nice, which is good. <laughs> All the keys seem to be there. It is actually quite a nice keyboard. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. So that explains this little gadget that was floating around free. I guess. Which way does it go? Maybe it goes that way. For external video? Maybe. It doesn't really fit on very tight. Maybe it goes the other way around. Maybe it goes like that, which is a bit of a, okay, cable come out like that. Okay, unfortunately there's no user serviceable part, so if I open her up, I'm not going to get any, any warranty support. But uh, yeah, let's power on and see what happens. Right, let's just power on. I don't have any discs in. Ooh, beep. Actually, I don't need that in there. Let's take that out. And does it do anything? I heard a beep. That's about it. Press the reset button. Or am I supposed to read the manual? All right, power off. Or maybe it doesn't do anything if the disk drives aren't. I have a beep there. Maybe I need to put a, a floppy in the in the drive. Uh, CPM 
I'm wondering if it does actually have a boot disk. We've got that. Or a CPM 2.2 on each disk. So we can boot off any disk. Let's try this one then. Stick it in A drive. Still nothing. Power off. Let everything discharge. Power on. Okay, I might need to do some more work on it. Well, I might need to do some work on it. It has just travelled from the US. So it was shown as doing something. Okay. Something could have dislodged in trans transit. It was pretty uh, pretty well packed. I think something might have dislodged in transit. All right. That means we get to open her up. I need to replace the power supply anyway. So I need to figure out that. But this was just a quick look. Uh, it came with two books. We've got this book. Uh-oh, wife's home. <laughs> and we've got this one here, Applications and Programming. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to figuring this one out. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, get the disc out. There's definitely no, the screen doesn't seem to be coming on. It does beep. But, um, yeah, it's nothing else. Let's see. Bye for now. Oh, it's doing something now. Yeah. Took a while. All I did was press a button. Ah, I'm trying to figure out. Mm. Oh, hi, Mama. So, so this off can you send it to me and yep. tell me you know what? Mm. I said, you know what, Eddie? It's no, I didn't. Come stay for the next one. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> That's so. No, no let me explain. Christmas day in here. What's going on? <laughs> Just. Package didn't arrive right till late. No, don't worry about that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so did it just start whirring, did it, mate? I pressed button. Oh, oh enter. God. Okay. Nothing on the display, though. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what is all this? No, it's just stuff for the channel. That's a reset. Oh, that's the reset button. What was wrong? You pressed. Ah, oh, you pressed enter. I figured it out. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> so you press the little enter. All right. Still nothing on the display, although I don't know. That's brightness. <laughs> that's contrast. So maybe a cable or something's come loose in transport. Can't hear the disc doing anything. Although they did say that it wasn't booting, but I think they still got something on the... You want to swap this for your laptop? Huh? Uh, you... State of the art, eh? <laughs> I get to pull it apart? I, I think. Oh, it's the only place big no, enough. Right? Alright, Mama. Mm. Alright, I don't know, mate. Maybe there's a cable has come loose or something inside. Alright. Mm.